today I'm going to be talking about a few different possibilities for arranging 46 EDO on the Lumitone keyboard. I'm going to be starting with uh, this familiar looking layout. This is, of course, the Bose and Cat Wilson 4 sevenths keyboard, where the, the generator is four steps over or three. Um, and uh, the period, the octave, is seven columns over. Uh, so that's the, the four sevenths keyboard and uh, the major triads here, if you just use the white notes, are very wide and that's not a very harmonic major third. So you need to go down one step from the E and you have to go all the way up here to go one step down and, and so these orange notes are one step of 46 EDO down from the white notes. So if you use this orangey you get a much smoother major triad and then the minor triad is just the inverse of that. You go three steps down you use this blue E flat which is a little awkward, but you can use your thumb for that note. So uh, the higher harmonics are a little bit more convenient. Uh, and this uh, keyboard layout is called Leap Day uh, because it has a 29 note MOS scale and 29 is the last day of February in leap years, so that's how it got its name. So the seventh harmonic is this a half sharp, which is a green note, and then the 11th harmonic is also a green note, this F half sharp. The 13th harmonic is this purple A flat note, and uh, you could also call it a, a G sharp because if you go up like C, D, E, F, G, uh, I like to call it an A flat because it's closer to A. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of different sharps and flats uh, on, on this. So, you know, purple A flat is the 13th harmonic. The nice thing about uh, this is that you can go from 12, 13, 14, 15 up, up the harmonic series just one step at a time in, in this layout. So if you, if you do the whole thing starting at uh, 8 and going up 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it's, it's pretty convenient. Um, and uh, that's, a, that's a good option to start out with because it's got a familiar keyboard layout. But I'm going to show a couple of other options. Uh, this one is, it looks a little confusing at first. Um, and so there is the octave there. The octave is actually eight steps, eight uh, columns over. And the generator of this temperament is, is this note, three steps over. So that makes this a three-eighths keyboard. And uh, what this is, is actually half of this a major sixth. And so it's a, a semi-sixth, and this is called sensi temperament, a short for semi-sixth. Um, and uh, the, it's a variety of uh, sensi uh, temperament. I think it's called sensus or a sensor, one of those. And uh, the, the uh, color uh, arrange, uh, the, the color assignments are the same as the other keyboard. Uh, so if you remember that the E was orange, this actually is the same note. And so the major and the, the minor triads are actually more convenient in this layout. Uh, so, and then the uh, 11th harmonic is way down there. It's a little bit out of the way. But then the, uh, the, the 12, 13, 14, and 15 are really convenient too. So, So actually, I think this is a little bit of a better layout compared with the the, uh, the Leap Day, the Boson Cat Wilson uh, layout. Uh, but there's another one I like better, and, and that is uh, this one. 
And this is what's called Hitchcock because it has a, a 39 step MOS and uh, the 39 steps is where it gets its name. Um, but it's got a really nice uh, arrangement for the, the harmonic series because this again is the orange note which is the E. And uh, so major and minor triads are pretty nice. So you go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, this is a little bit out of the way, but uh, um, uh, the nice thing about this is that uh, a, a single step up or down is one step of 46 EDO. So you can get, do those nice uh, glissandos. Um, so it's kind of a toss-up, I guess, between the, the, the Sensi and the Hitchcock layouts. They're both good. Um, I just like this better because it's a little bit more convenient. Um, and so the last one I'm going to illustrate is this one, which is called Rodan. Named after a Japanese uh, movie monster. It's in the same family as like, Godzilla and Mothra. Uh, and uh, this has kind of a, a, a similar uh, property to, to some of the others where, you know, you can see that, that, that color pattern where you can go, in this case, up uh, a step at a time and do those nice uh, uh, glissandos by, doing, by going uh, uh, diagonally down. Uh, and it's a little bit awkward because, you know, you have to go backwards to do, like... So the major triad is, is a little bit further away that way. Uh, but, it, I, you know, it could also be a good option. I haven't really played around with this one as much as the other ones. I still prefer the, the Hitchcock layout. But here's a few of the possibilities. I You know, the, I could go... Uh, there's a lot of other options for 46 EDO, but this should be a, enough to, to start out with.